Hey! Hey! I uh, made you guys some root beer floats. Oh, wow. Wow. Peter, are those chocolate straws? Uh, yeah, pirouettes. <laughs> Nothing like some good old-fashioned root beer floats to get that party started. But if you want to up the ante with your next float, you might want to try a little soda science. Lifestyle expert Autumn Rio is here this morning to show us how to mix up some floats with unique flavors. Great to see you. Good morning. I was giggling at your Facebook post last night. She was panicking that she, she, you didn't have the right glassware. I did not have the right glassware, but I think I actually found something better. You We've, know what? I like this better. It's this the way we really would do it in cute. Texas, right? We kind of do things a little different. It's a little mama challenge way. So we have these cute little mason jars. So Autumn, I love it. So you've basically found a way to recreate the soda float. Well, you know, we've kind of had fun with it. You go to the grocery store anymore and you see all these great flavors of sodas and ice cream. You're like, where am I going to use that? So we kind of <laughs> married the two together. I love it. Um, and you know, before people went to Starbucks and enjoyed coffee and frappuccinos, they sat down at an ice cream soda fountain and they just enjoyed their time together without devices. What yes. a thought, right? Mm. So we're going to kind of recreate that this morning. I so like I feel the first thing we have to do is kind of give love and homage to Coca-Cola because that's the original. The original. It's a Coke float. Yep. So we actually have a bottle glass here. So I'm going to let you open that up. Will and I'm going to talk a little tips here uh, about doing our Coke floats here mm -hmm. or doing all of our floats is that you're going to want to layer things. So I'm going to go ahead and you're going to want to start with a cold glass. Um, ours here, just a little bit in there Kay. and let that die down. And then instead of doing your regular vanilla, because of course we're doing a little twist, uh -huh. we have a cherry vanilla ice mm. cream here. So you want to have really, really cold ice cream if you can help it. Um, and then put a scoop in there. And then again, you want to start kind of doing a layer. So you put an ice cream okay, layer, so then a little right bit now. more soda. Why do we layer like this? Instead well, of one, it's going to keep it cold longer because, you know, no one likes when you get to the soda and then it's just that kind of creamy mess on the bottom. That's <laughs> no good. And two, if you started with the ice cream, and especially if it's really cold the way you want it, you're, you put your straw in and you don't get the drink and you're like oh well now I need the spoon That's true um, so this way you're able to kind of get the okay. whole flavor combination together and my grandparents used to tell me about how they would have their cokes or their coke floats with peanuts so I felt like really? I really had to give you know if we're gonna do things the right way this morning we were gonna do it with peanuts. why not so I'm gonna let you first put on the whipped cream so put that on there let's put the cherry mm-hmm then of course you sprinkle a couple of peanuts okay. on there, and they said this was like the bee's knees was to have the your bee's knees. was to have your peanuts <laughs> on your float. I love it. And of course we have our little red oh, and white straw have, yes. there. So that's that's kind of the original. And some people say it's a root beer float. Some people have even said a big red float. That's like a Texas thing. They I'm all taste quite. great. Does it really matter? No, it's we're putting ice cream in it. But here's oh, where we got we had a lot of fun. So the okay. first one is is a summertime flavor. And again, I'm going to hand you. Um, another ice cream here. We okay. want the strawberry lemonade. So I've got strawberry ice cream. Okay. And then remember, you're going to want to put your liquid in there first. Oh, the liquid goes in first. So we always want to put that little bit of liquid, um, not a whole bunch, um, but again, and we're just going to do a couple flavors just so you can kind of get the taste because these are f fun flavors. So there's the lemon. Mm -hmm. You could use if you wanted to like a Sprite that's not going to have quite the same citrus. You could use a limeade if you find those. So again, have fun with it when you're trying to put together these soda recipes. So we've got that one. Yep, and you would just kind of keep on layering it. Mm -hmm. And it's like the perfect summertime treat, right? If it doesn't have the same amount of carbonation as let's say a root beer or Coke, is it still okay? Oh yeah, absolutely. And again, you're going to kind of be able to play with, you know, the flavor combinations and the foam and all that kind of good stuff. Okay. So the second one is a pina colada because also, <laughs> you know, there's nothing more summertime than that. So we found this beautiful, fabulous coconut gelato, and we mm. used a Mexican soda. So these are one of our favorites. Love the Mexican sodas usually have a little bit more sweetness to them. Did you just um, go down the aisle and? Oh, we had so much fun. I mean, we you literally could do went so down the aisle. Like, what could you do, and what would you want in a soda? What sounds awful? Yeah. Um, and again, with that strawberry lemonade one, you could have switched it around and done like a lemon ice cream and a strawberry soda, but mm -hmm. we didn't think it'd be quite as good. Okay. So we've got the pineapple and the coconut. Another one, and again, these really are cute. lots of fun. This one's a caramel apple. Caramel so we apple. found uh, our caramel ice great. cream. Um, and then put that with this apple soda. Oh, my hands are kind of... They're starting to get a little cold there. I'm going to grab this from you and help you out. So I'll let you put the soda in I'll and I'll get that scoop. first. There we go. Now we have a... Now, out of these Perfect. that we're making today, do you have a favorite? Well, we're about to get to my favorite. I'm <laughs> going to be, I'll be honest about that one. So that's the fun one of the caramel apple. And you could put whipped cream on it if we were going to layer it all the way out and then put a little caramel drizzle oh, on it. that's a great it. idea. I love um, these. So we went a little different with this one. And you could use, is this is a Guinness. Guinness. 
We used a Guinness, and if you can grab my bottle opener over there. Yes. Um, we used a Guinness. You could use a Shiner Bach. You could this is use why we actually, love you. Uh, well, we have to twist it up a little. <laughs> um, and Deep Ellum has a chocolate stout as well that you could use. And nice. we decided to use a Java chip. So we have a Java chip ice cream. This and we'll put that little bit of Guinness on there. And um, there's lots of different restaurants around town that are actually doing these kind of adult milkshake, adult floats. Yep. Um, Maker's Mark, they're adding to it, bourbon, things like that. Um, but I like just being able to put a little bit of beer in there and look at the foam on that. It's so good. It smells good, too. So good. And then this is also where you would get that whipped cream for me, if you wouldn't mind. Yes, yes, yes. And right then here. just go ahead and squirt it on the top there. And then you'd crumble it with a little bit of brownies because, you know, that's the way you should do this it, right? This is genius. And then this is magic shell. <laughs> <laughs> so you could magic shell, like, the whole top of it. You could throw it back in the freezer for just a couple of seconds, it's like 20 kid, seconds. It's half kid, half adult. Yeah, and the last but not least, peanut butter and jelly, right? So mom and dad's got their treat, and now the kids now have the got kids. theirs. Okay. So peanut butter ice cream. And the grape soda. For and the grape time. soda. Love it. And then you put it in You could do strawberry, there. too. Yeah, uh, you could do so many different, and if your kids, you know, like you said, strawberry, whatever, you've got all kinds of different flavors. We love it. Autumn, so. thank you so much. Absolutely. How fun. These are great. All right, you can find all these fun floats on Autumn's website. It's mamachallenge.com.